This is a self-portrait of the 27-year-old Elizabeth Vigée Lebrun. She was one of the rare female artists that had a successful career during the late 18th and early 19th century. Her husband was both a painter and art dealer, and the French couple had just finished a tour of Flanders and the Netherlands to study their art traditions. During this tour, Elizabeth was deeply impressed by the Flemish masters and especially the greatest among them, Peter Paul Rubens. It was one painting by Rubens, a portrait of a lady with a straw hat, that directly inspired her for this portrait. She was particularly impressed by the way Rubens simultaneously incorporated the effects of both natural daylight and sunlight. When she saw this portrait in Brussels, she immediately started to apply these ideas to her own portrait. After she returned to Paris, she created a second and better version of this painting, which we see in front of us. So this self-portrait is a study of light? Correct, and it is worth studying that aspect in more detail. Look, for example, at how she painted her eyes in the shadow of the straw hat. The result is that the viewer is naturally directed to look at her neck and chest, but unlike in Rubens' portrait, she's not showing any cleavage. Instead, she paints herself as an independent and emancipated woman, traits that helped her to be a successful artist in a male world. I can imagine that someone who could paint such beautiful portraits was able to get some great clients. That is exactly what happened. Her portraits were very much in demand among upper-class citizens all over Europe. <music> 